right, well, today uh, we are going to want to log into our Schoology accounts, and we're going to go to the folder that is labeled DNA and RNA, including replication, transcription, and translation. And about two-thirds of the way down, you're going to find a file that is labeled Practice, Replication, Transcription, Translation, Protein Synthesis, PDF. And that's what we're really doing here. Protein synthesis implies that we're making a protein. How do we do that? We replicate DNA. We transcribe the information and we translate it into an amino acid sequence and a bunch of amino acids linked together via peptide bonds makes a protein. Okay, well this is zoomed in pretty good, but what we see here is we see number one. We're going to go through the first uh, amino acid practice problem together, just making sure that everybody is on the same page. So here we have a sequence of DNA, and that sequence of DNA goes from three prime here to 5 prime here. And so we give this thing a name. And when we give this thing a name, we call this the sense strand. Okay, so let's see if I can get that to come on up. We call that the sense strand of DNA. Okay, so we have a sense strand right here. Now what we want to do here is we want to take this and we want to give the, uh, the complementary strand for this scent strand. So down here, we're going to call that the anti-scent strand. Now, just to be even more thorough, when things were created, because this one is 3' prime to 5', prime, when this one was created, the scent strand would have been the lagging one when it was made. And why? Because it goes in the direction of 5 to 3, right? Um, the issue for that is that that's when we're making it. So the the one that gets transcribed is the scent strand in the next set. That's why we call it that right now. Okay. So let's give the complementary strand of DNA here. And the complementary strand here, the opposite of three. So we'd have the five prime strand right here. Okay. Now, the opposite of a T is an A. T stands for thymine, A standing for adenine. Then after that would be a T then a G, then a G, T, A, A, T, C, A, G, T, A, C, G, T, A, A, and this would be the three prime end, okay? Now, what I want to do now is I want to be like DNA polymerase and just go through and make sure. So T, A, A, T, C, G, C, G, A, T, T, A, T, A, A, T, G, C, T, A, C, G, A, T, T, A, G, C, C, G, A, T, T A T A. So DNA polymerase checks out and says we have a good DNA strand here. Last question down here says, okay, um, after, when we make on the lagging strand, what are the short fragments which we use that compose uh, the strand? And the name for that is Okazaki fragments. So these are called Okazaki. fragments. Eventually they're going to be joined together. All right, now let's continue on. Uh, so I'm going to work backwards a little bit here and there's a reason for that. So down here at the bottom it says constructing this message is the process of, and this process gets a generic name and that name is transcription. And what happens in transcription is we're going to end up making something called messenger RNA. Now what happens in messenger RNA is we are going to use the 3' prime to 5' prime strand of DNA. So we're going to use the one that we just labeled up here, the sense strand. And the reason we're going to use this one is because messenger RNA, like new DNA, has to be created going from 5' prime to 3 prime, okay? And as such, we want to use the 3 prime end of this strand right here, the DNA. 
So what we have to do is based upon this DNA sequence right here, we have to make a messenger RNA strand. Now there is one difference for messenger RNA, or actually there's a couple of differences. Number one, with RNA, it is only a single stranded molecule. There's only one of them. And the second thing is this. The, um, up here, right, for every time you had a thymine, you had an adenine, every cytosine was a guan, uh, actually it's that one, right? So every cytosine was a guanine, it's this one and this one. Well, what ends up happening here, right, is there are no thymines in messenger RNA. Instead, we replace that with something called uracil. So let's go through and now build the messenger RNA strand, okay? So for T down here, what we would end up with is we would end up with an A, which is the opposite of T. Oh, actually, I guess let's be thorough and do our five prime first. So the opposite of a T is A, okay? And then the opposite of an A, it would have been a T, but instead, in messenger RNA, that's a U. The opposite of a C is a G. Then after C comes another G. Then after that comes an A. Well, that would have been a T, but instead, again, we're giving U's. Then a T, so it was an A, an adenine, an adenine, uracil, cytosine, adenine, guanine, uracil, adenine, cytosine, guanine, uracil, adenine, adenine, and then three prime. So again, I went from five to three. Now, DNA polymerase, okay? Okay, so now what would happen is it would go through and make sure that we've done it correctly. So, here we go. Let's link them. A, A, U, C, G, C, G, A, U, T, A, T, A, A, U, G, C. I think it's A, T. A, C, G, A, U, T, A, G, C, C, G, A, U, T, A, T, and A. And again, that process is referred to as transcription. Okay, so last question here says, why is this an important step of protein synthesis, i.e., why is transcription important? And the reason is because DNA is composed or found on chromosome inside of the nucleus in your cells, right? And so what happens is transcription, the big thing is it allows the information on DNA, so allows info from DNA to leave the nucleus. So we can make new proteins. And that's why we refer to it and call it messenger RNA. And now for the most important part. The process that I'm about to show you is how we make the amino acids that are encoded from a messenger RNA strand. So up here, right, we have a strand of messenger RNA. And right here it says the use of messenger RNA to drive an amino acid sequence, i.e. we're going to make a protein. The use of that is given a name. And that name is called, let's see if I can fit it in this line or close, is called translation. So just lay on the last one, we'll work backwards a little bit. So translation. Now here's what happens on that, okay? If you look up here, it says, what codon sequence on mesh RNA starts the process of making a protein? And what you're looking for is you're looking for three letters, and they are A, U, and G. Now it just happens that on this particular sequence, they're the first three letters here, okay? That's not always going to be the case. I just gave you an easy one on this first one. So what ends up happening here is you end up looking for A, U, G, and you end up creating and using the, the codon chart, which we're going to do, which brings me to a new word, all right? Again, that word is a codon.
And what ends up happening is we're going to end up putting these things in groupings of three. So like right here, you see AUG. Then your next one's going to be GUA, then AUC, then AGU, ACG, UAA, okay? And what ends up happening here is you end up then making codons from these things, and you're going to use that codon chart that I shared with you in your class slash notes. And so from AUG, the name of that particular thing is methionine. Now, the abbreviation for methionine is M-E-T. Okay, so that's your first protein. Then your second one, that's G-U-A, is valine. Pre abbreviated V A L. Then from there, A U C gives you isoleucine, which is I L E. Then from there, okay. A G U is serine, S E R. Then our next one is A C G. So ACG is threonine, T-H-R, and we keep doing this process until we get told to stop. And what I mean is UAA is a stop codon. So again, codons are uh, three messenger RNA uh, nucleotides that are translated into uh, um, uh, an amino acid sequence. Now, continuing along as you read here, it says, okay, well, when reading a messenger RNA message encoded by RNA, how many nitrogenous bases are read at a time? And again, we just said that's three. We started at A, U, G. And what we're going to end up happening, up, what ended up happening up here is U, A, A was our stop, and that's not the only stop codon that exists. Now, these three are called a codon. Let's give that a name, a term. And what ends up happening is we end up doing this then. We end up making a covalently... Sorry, right spell to fit it. Covalently bonded amino acids... Join together to make this big molecule, one of those macromolecules we studied at the beginning of the year, called a protein. And the process of interpreting the message, linking amino acids and making a protein, gets a big generic name. And that generic name is protein synthesis. Why? Because synthesis means to make and a whole bunch of amino acids put together makes up a protein. So we're doing protein synthesis. All right, here is problem two uh, on the protein synthesis practice worksheet. I'd like you to go through this. Uh, after I get done explaining this, you want to go ahead and hit pause because shortly I'm going to start to show the answers so that you can check the work that you've done. So right now, hit pause on the video so that you can go through and do question number two. All right, well, the first thing that we see here is the enzyme that pulls the two strands of DNA apart is called DNA helicase. And then there's an enzyme that recognizes the bases and proofreads it. If it's DNA replication, it's called DNA replication. If you're making a messenger RNA strand, it's called RNA polymerase. Okay, so now the messenger RNA strand that comes from this DNA, remember... It has to come from, it has to be made from the three prime DNA strand. So it's the, this one on the very top that ends up being the scent strand. This is the anti-scent strand. So C becomes G, A becomes U, G becomes C, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now some people will notice a pattern. That pattern is this. If you look at the five prime strand right here, if you just put in U's where there are T's, it's the exact same thing. And what I'm showing you here also is that, remember, AUG is our start for making a, a protein, right? So therefore, if you look at this GUC at the beginning, it's considered to be junk because it doesn't transcribe for anything. We don't start till we get to AUG right here. Okay, and here is the amino acid sequence that is made. Uh, it goes methionine, leucine, asparagine, arginine, leucine, proline, cysteine, leucine, and stop. 